Okay, I don't know. I guess I decided I needed some techno music to go and lead into all of this. Um, anyway, I want to use this as a little um, screencasting opportunity to show you how to use Logger Pro. So even though I'm not here today, I know you guys are all shedding a little tear, not getting your void time, but instead you get me recorded, pre-recorded audio, whatever. Anyway, what you're going to want to do now in this case is go through and use your iPad and, um, and record a video of something. Um, and when you record a video of something, what you'll end up getting, and I just have a picture of this, and I'll try to see if I can pull it up real quickly. You're going to get a picture that's going to look something like this. Okay, so this is what it will look like on your iPad. You'll see your camera roll. You've recorded it, like I said, recording a video. And then up here in the upper um, right-hand corner, you're going to want to click on share. Um, that's a share button, the one with a little arrow. Click on that and then go to email. Email it to yourself, your Gmail account. And then what you'll want to do is go into your Gmail account, open it up, save that video, and then that's going to be the key. So save that video, and then once you've, you're done with that, so you're going to do that on your iPad, and then when you go on it, onto your computer, so you're going to have to go onto your laptop then. Go onto your laptop, open up um, your Gmail, get that video down, save it, and then open up Logger Pro. So iPad just for recording, and then now you're going to switch over to the, um, the laptop for the rest of this. So once you're in, in Logger Pro, you're going to want to go over to Insert. Insert a movie, and then you're going to want to figure out where you put your movie. So you're going to take your movie um, and open that up. So for me, let me go and open, find mine real quick. And I have a cart down ramp video, so let me open that up real quick. And as you can see, the, the actual video is inserted into Logger Pro then. Now, I like making it a little bit bigger here so we can actually see this stuff. The first thing you're going to want to do is go down over here to the lower right-hand corner where you have the three little red dots and click on that arrow to, to be able to enable basically marking up your video. Because the ultimate goal of using this process here is to go and make dots and basically analyze a video and then it will automatically create graphs that we can analyze. So when you do this, the first thing you're going to do, and if you hit the play button actually you can see the video. Yay, awesome, woo. What I like to do then is go through and, um, and then get it all set up to where you first want it to, to begin, where the, the first kind of moment that you're gonna wanna mark. So I put play, um, I'm gonna wanna go back a few slides, so let me just click on the reverse button a little bit, and I'm gonna have my first slide be right there. Once you're at that location, you're also gonna wanna click on this ruler. And one of the key things is you're gonna have to measure the actual length of some object in this screen. So I'm gonna click on the set scale, and what I did is I measured the actual length of my cart. So I'm gonna click on that, click and drag, and it's gonna tell me then what's the distance. So I ended up finding that it was, point, or it was 17 centimeters, so 0.17 meters. Okay, now I'm ready to rock and roll um, with one other quick addition. I want to set an origin and I want to make sure that my axes are lined up in a way that's going to be making sense for me. So I'm going to click on set origin. And then the first thing I'm going to want to do is click where I want my origin to be. So I want my origin to be right at the top of that cart. So I want my car to start at that zero meter mark. So I'm going to click and release. And then now this is my origin here. This is my x-axis, my y-axis. Now I want my axis to go along with the direction of my ramp. So let me see if I can get that lined up. That's that's pretty darn close, so it's all set up now. After I have it all set up, then I'm going to want to go over here to the add point. And I'm going to click on that. So now I have my axes all lined up. I've set my, my distance. And now I want to click on the beginning portion of the cards. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mark every single, um, sl every single slide within this video f f film. I'm going to make a little mark at the top point of where my card is located. And if you see that as I click on a dot, it automatically advances to the next slide. So I click in front of the cart, keep clicking in front of the cart, keep clicking in front of the cart. Click in the same, so the same location on the cart as it moves and gets transferred down the ramp. And you'll see each time it keeps bumping it down, accelerating it, getting faster and faster and faster. And each slide, and the way you can tell it's getting faster and faster is the, the, the points between, or the, the distance between each of the points is getting further and further away. So we keep going at the front. Sometimes it's a little blurry, but just try to get it as consistent as you can. Yeah, 
And you'll see as you're clicking on all this and as it's advancing, you can see a graph is being formed in the background on our, in this case, a position versus time graph. So I keep clicking and 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 clicking. And you'll see I have this whole big set of dots getting further and further apart. And um, each slide between the, for the video frame, e there's a certain spacing between it. And if you actually look over um, on our actual, if you click on this little arrow key, you can then go and move back over to the graph. And you'll see that it actually knows the time, the time that it took between each of those different seconds and each, between each of the frames. And you chose the distance. So you can see over here, you have this curvy graph, which is what you'd expect from a car going down a ramp. Now I'm going to click over here um, on the y-axis. Um, you can tell that there's this y thing going on. That's I'm talking about how vertically it changed, and I'm not as interested in that. So I'm going to click on that axis label on the, the y-axis and just click on the x. I'm only interested in that position, that x position. And you'll see I have this curvy thing. I could go and select this. I could get, get, do a best fit curve. I could do all these other things. Now, in addition to this, I could also go and choose the X velocity. So if I click on X velocity, you'll see it's well, relatively liney. Okay, I probably could have been a little more careful when I was making my marks. Relatively liney. I could go over and get my inf information, my Y equals MX plus B information, and find out values um, for this velocity versus time graph. So this is a super awesome program. I want you to do this, and if you could then go over and go file, save, so file save as, and um, if you could save it uh, on your H drive and then email it to me just so I can see what kind of graphs you were able to come up with and what videos you have. And that's it. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the deal. I'd like you now to run off, make your own video, go on and make your own video analysis like this, send that video to me, and then after that I'm going to have you start to plan out um, what this experiment is going to look like when we have um, off, uh, the officer driving the squad car and actually analyzing the braking distance. So we're hoping to use this video then to help us make that analysis. And it's going to help to, to kind of solidify those values and solidify those results in something that we can analyze as we move forward. So anyway, have a super awesome time. Have some great um, videos. And good luck to all the bandos as you head off because I don't think I'm going to see you tomorrow. Have a great day.